Good morning. Welcome in. I hope you're doing great today or good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Hope everybody is doing great. I'm asking for my guides to come in, for your guides to come in. Let's see what's going on today. <sighs> General message that wants to come through. Okay, calm down. <laughs> somebody's, somebody's, somebody's just off the chain right now. So <sighs> just take a couple of deep breaths. Get yourself nice and grounded. Uh, the Heart Healing Group and the Pathfinders Group are going to be on Thursday this week. Uh, so you'll be getting some notifications from Colleen, from the team, to jump on on Thursday. Okay, so just heads up about that. Valiant Courage, Take Action with Passion. Desert Passage, oh boy. Trust that there is a divine plan. And Finding Sanctuary, Opening to Your Spiritual Source. Some of you are pushing and grinding and trying to make things work. And it can't be that this is supposed to leave my life. It can't be that this is not what I'm supposed to be doing anymore. Um, some of you do need to take some courageous action, meaning get in touch with your guides, Ugh. ground yourself, just get connected. All the answers are inside you. All the answers are inside you, okay? There is a divine plan here, right? Somebody is off the chain, off the chain upset right now. It's like not necessary. It's not necessary. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Two of Cups, Page of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So I keep seeing this story. Um, some of you are dealing with a person who is very slow. Okay, very slow to come around, very slow to connect with you, very slow to talk. This Knight of Pentacles, I feel like that's what some of you are just like raging about um, things not happening in your timeline, okay? And I get it, like sometimes it's super frustrating when things, you know, like <laughs> man plans, God laughs, whatever. Like some of you are definitely having a moment about that. Um, some of you could also be like just completely disconnecting from a situation that, I don't know, it feels good, it, that kind of feels good to me that you're disconnecting from a situation um, that you thought was going to materialize and it just happened, ha happened, it just happened. Um, okay. For some of you, it just happened for others of you. You've been waiting a long time and it's like, turn your attention away from that. I'm definitely getting that. I feel like this four of swords energy about healing, um, may pertain to this other person. So it's not going to good, not going to do you any good to kind of focus on, somebody else. It's possible that somebody else needed to take some valiant courage to come toward you. I really feel like sitting in the energy of trust, no matter what you're seeing in front of you, no matter what it looks like. Okay. This is a big lesson about manifesting that what we're doing here is we're not continuing to go along with what's happening in our 3d reality. That is a reflection of the past. We're turning our attention to the future. We're turning our attention to a blank slate. And that can feel very uncomfortable for some of us. And Desert Passage, trust that there's a divine plan. Some of you just need to take a break, okay? Some of you need to take a break. Like, like I said, that grinding energy, that pushing energy, that doing, 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 nothing's changing, nothing's working, la, 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 okay? So message coming in, Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Justice card, the Knight of Wands, the Lover's card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Magician. This is how, again, manifesting from a place of lack, we talked about this yesterday, manifesting from a place of lack um, isn't going to be the right thing. So you can't come from a place of, 
I don't have what I want in my in my um, immediate vicinity. And so I'm aligned with not having it. I'm aligned with not with not having love. I'm aligned with not having money. I'm aligned with whatever it is that you're wanting to bring into your life, but you're aligned with the ab absence of it. Okay. So there is some kind of frustration here. I just feel like <sighs> there's no point in struggling. There's no point in pushing. There's no point in forcing anything. I feel like you need to get into the energy of gratitude, which is okay. I'm super grateful for this lovely backyard. I'm super grateful for that refrigerator full of food. I'm super grateful for a good night's sleep. I'm super like get into the things that you do have. See the abundance that already exists around you. I'm super grateful for what I've been able to um, do today that I could get up and I can take a shower with clean water and I can brush my teeth and I can do everything and everything is right here. Everything I need is right here. Your love exists inside you. It's always there. There isn't anything that's missing. Okay. There's nothing that's missing. And we should understand that um, on the quantum plane, we are all, we are all, we are all one. We are all one. Um, we are all connected. We are all right with each other. There is only one us. We are pieces of a larger us. And I just feel like a big shift in how you're seeing things is in the tiniest things, in the tiniest amounts of gratitude, in the tiniest thankfulness for certain people coming around, friends coming around. There's just a sense of like, when, when, when? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? The universe is going to turn this car around. Okay? So, all right, so let's not do that. Let's not do that. I'm going to use this to clarify here. So the message coming in of like, you know, instead of kind of running away or being um, frustrated, I get the feeling that slowing down, investing in yourself, taking your time, okay, taking your time. There's a seven of swords here. I think there's a lot of things going on that you don't know about. All right, so seven of swords. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, <laughs> Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. Wow, there is a lot going on. There's the Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands. So there's a lot going on that you don't know about. And I feel like um, you just need to be self-confident that you are exactly where you need to be. You're exactly where you need to be. A lot of Sevens here. Is there any more Sevens? I think this is... What we're missing, pentacles, we're missing the seven of cups, which is confusion. Okay, so that's good that we're missing that. I feel like this is a clarify, clarification kind of reading, a clarifying kind of experience of like trust that there's a divine plan open to your spiritual source. There's no need to grind or push. Just let it go. Let it go. We have a couple of eights here. All right, we got twos and then fours and then eights here. We got sevens. All right, so I'm just getting the sense of like things are coming along in their own good time. The Knight of Cups is an offer that's trying to come into you. Ace of Swords, yes, that's right. An offer that's trying to come into you. Libra time. Five of Wands. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords again, Nine of Wands. Okay, this is all the stuff that's going on right now. So there's struggle around what other people are doing, what other people are not doing. There's struggle about like, I can't see. Look at this. Eight of Swords, Two of Swords. I have the Ten of Swords over here. Look at, she's blindfolded. Justice is blindfolded. You're not, you just are not seeing it. It doesn't mean it's not happening. Okay, Nine of Wands. Like, don't go off. And we have Mercury in retrograde coming up. Remember that? 
So don't go uh, don't go like ripping off some kind of text to a person. Don't go um, doing anything rash, doing anything um, crazy, because I think that will adversely affect what's trying to come into your life. Instead, the answer is really to ground, to meditate, to get into your spiritual self. Um, this third eye, I feel like that's something that maybe um, uh, the group for heart healing, let's t let's work on opening our third eye. I don't know. That's just coming in pretty loudly. I We at Jen and I have planned other things about clearing and, and all of that, but we do have this new moon in Leo. We do have this time of opening to the sun, opening to our heart source, opening all of this up. And this opening to your spiritual source feels like third eye to me. And so maybe that's what we're going to, this is actually third eye, it feels like to me. Um, so let's work on that with the heart healing group on Thursday. And I just get the sense that the universe is trying to bring in a lot of messages and there's, it's just not getting through. All right. It's just not getting through. Why is that? Because I see the Queen of Swords here. Ah, Devil Energy, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Grinding, 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 grinding. Some of you are working too hard. Some of you are putting in massive effort, right? That's Capricorn Energy, right? That's that's like taking massive action. But that's not really what's needed right now. What's needed right now, this is a lesson from childhood that maybe was drilled into you that... You know, if you don't take action, you're the one responsible for not getting to where you want to go. Um, can you just align with the energy of trust, gratitude? Open that third eye. Be part, be part of the energy that's around you. I feel like all you have to do is just like reach out and ask and it will come to you. Okay. And. Sorry about that. So spirit is just really asking you to trust. And I feel like this is what's happening. The universe is bringing you together with your destiny, your fate, your future. So much hard effort here. So much devil, 10 of wands, eight of pentacles. It's like you're missing out on something by doing that. You're missing out on happiness, missing out on joy. Clarify the man of uh, the uh, magician here. Yeah, four of cups, the wheel, chariot, and the king of cups. It's coming in soon enough. Whatever you're trying to bring into your life is coming in soon enough. It's like you might not even be ready for it. You're just really focused on the fact that it's not here. Okay, so justice feels like a timing card to me feels like that's when um things shift i do feel like there's a message of like um work on your work on your spiritual connection in the meantime work on your spiritual connection in the meantime there's seven of cups tower blowing apart your confusion blowing apart your fear king of pentacles wow um What you've been asking for is closer than you think. You're just going to have to trust it. Just trust the universe, okay? So I'm going to continue on. I'll get messages for each zodiac sign in the extended, and we'll see where we go. All right, link is below if you want to continue on with me. Let's keep going, Pathfinders. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, Check out these videos.